Hello, hello, hello. This is Joanna from Perfectly Creative and this is the Stamp Around UK video hop for the 1st of December. Can't believe it's December already. Um, that's scary. Um, and this month's theme is winter. So um, I've not been uh, in great form lately. So my crafting mojo has uh, got up and left me. So I thought I'd attempt something simple not sure if it's going to work but we'll soon find out so what i've done is i've cut out the tree dye the background tree dye from grassy grove and i've embossed it using the snowflake sky 3d embossing folder and then i've also cut a piece of knight of navy and embossed it with the same embossing folder i just love it that it's just the detail the snowflakes the snow falling um so i thought just to see if i can soften the black just a little bit i thought i'd get out of my knight of navy ink and just lightly brush because even if it doesn't soften it it just it adds just a bit of definition to the cardstock so it's not quite so stark i suppose for want of a better word and if you can see them, apologies for the light, it is dark here when I'm filming this. Uh, if you can see them, dirty paw prints, Bella's been in, had to shoo her off. Uh, as usual, she was wanting to get involved. So I just thought, you know, nighttime scene, snow falling. You know, could be two o'clock in the afternoon because it gets dark early only kidding four o'clock in the afternoon so it just takes the edge off it's not much you can't really see it you can in person but i will do the same with the knight of navy carve stock because you can see a difference with this so are you all ready for christmas I think I am. So you can see the difference in the cardstock. This is where I've added the ink. And you can see there where I haven't. So I just want to go around the edges and pull it in. So yeah, I've pretty much got everyone's presents now. It's just really my nieces. I just want to bring bring the eye into the center. I will be adding some sprinkles. It's freezing here today. Absolutely freezing. It's been minus one. The frost hasn't left the ground at all. So I'm just going to go round and round. Just... So there you go. So you can see the, just a the light bit in the middle. But it just softens up the, the cardstock itself. Okay. So to do the white, uh, I'm just going to put a little block of the white ink on a block. It's been a while since I've used this. And then I'll water it down. It's quite thick the white, it's thicker than what you expect it to be. And let me get out one of my brushes, the one I use the most, which is this one. So they come in a pack of three. Um, and I've got some, a little tub of water. Because I want it really, I want it quite watery. There we go. You could, of course, do this with your Wink of Stella as well if you wanted to. Mm. 
I'm going to mix in the rest and a little bit of water. There we go. Get some nice big blobs of snow falling. course you're not really going to see the bit at the top so I'll switch over and do it on the black so also from this grassy grove uh, set I've also die cut a couple of the deer So they can be placed inside. I did also cut the ground. There we go. I'm happy with that. I did also, and you don't have to wipe that off if you if you're going to use it again, because it'll just dry, and all you have to do is re-wet it, and jobs are good. And um, obviously, clean your brush properly. Not like I just did. Do what I say, not as I do. Um, so yes, yeah, so I also cut the a couple of deer, and there were some trees also in the die set, uh, and there's a like a mummy deer and a baby deer, um, which are quite cute. I quite like them. I'd say I did cut. There is um, a die, so in the stamp set you can die cut. You can stamp the ground. Um, and you can also then, if I can find it, no, I don't know what I've done with it. Um, you can die cut and then you can die cut and that's the top of it basically. So you can die cut the shrubbery and all that stuff and then that bit, which I think the cat's carried it off if I'm honest. She's been a bit of a pest today. So I am going to put this up on dimensionals. It's going to sit there. Now, the best thing for this is black dimensionals, so then you don't see them through. And what it is a little bit strange, but I am going to put this on a white card base because then I think the detail stands out. But I could be wrong. My sentiment I'm going to pull from Winter Meadow. Um, because I quite like the one in there that's Winter Wishes. It's quite a nice simple because, you know, not everybody celebrates Christmas. And some people are going through a hard time and don't want to celebrate Christmas. So it's just to let people know that, letting people know that you're still thinking about them, if that is the case. So I am using a lot of dimensionals because I don't want this to sag. And of course the beauty with the black is that it doesn't show through, not like the white would. So have you bought your Christmas cards? Have you made your Christmas cards? Have you written your Christmas cards? I'm terrible. Every year I say, oh yeah, I'm going to do it in time. Hands up who actually never gets around to it. That would be me. Okay. So, I oh know, it's a bit overkill, but... But yeah, as I say, I've not been uh, at my best, so I have been off work for a little bit. So I would have hoped I'd be further ahead with my 
card making for Christmas, but no. Don't be silly. Right, I am going to place this now. See, the white is dried, so it's a subtle, it's not bright white. It's not bright white and in your face. So I am doing this through a camera, so I hope I get it straight. relatively and then I'm going to tuck the trees in but I'm just going to stick them flat because we all know how expensive the postal system is the last thing we want to do is end up getting cars sent back because the too thick or haven't paid enough postage. I'll just untuck that bit there. There we go. Use The little deer. Now do I want her there or behind? I think I might just do her as if she's just emerging out of the trees. a bit of glue here and there. Okay. So for the sentiment and I'm pulling in Winter Meadow, uh, Magical Meadow, sorry. I keep forgetting it's the Winter Meadow Sweet, but Magical Meadow Stamp Set and Dies. So I think I want to go relatively simple, I think, on this. And I think I might stamp it on white because it's going on to... A white card base. So if I just just to alleviate some of the darkness. Can you see that all right? Yeah. Put it down a bit. So I want to do winter wishes. I need a block. And some scrap white. I mean, who doesn't have a ton of scrap white? So I will stamp it in Night of Navy though. doesn't really matter because I am going to cut it out but okay get my fussy cutting scissors 
if you weren't going to cut it out, then what you need to do is to line up the bottom of the wishes in a straight line against, so it's parallel against the bottom of the cardstock. But as I'm keeping this fairly simple for my lack of crafting mojo at the moment. I don't really want a massive sentiment to overtake the stamping, uh, the background and the dyes and the embossing. Stamping. It's actually probably one of the only cards I've made that's got the least amount of stamping on it. I've never made a card with such little stamping on it. Of course, the trick is when you're fussy cutting is to move your cardstock and not your scissors. I mean, fussy cutting is definitely, I find it a lot easier using our paper snips now compared to what I used to use. They're just so sharp and you can get into all those tight corners. Definitely well worth it. I've got about three pairs. <clears throat> Probably more than that. I don't know. I think I might put it at the top actually. It's hard when it's black on navy for you to see. The lighting doesn't help, but it's dark. It's that, <coughs> excuse me, it's that time of year, unfortunately. But the good news is, is we've got some of this night of navy, the beautiful, beautiful night of navy ribbon, which I think I will definitely be using. Oh, cat's made an appearance. Hello. Is that you, Bella? Hmm? Okay, I'm just going to do a... A swell behind the winter wishes just to lift it just a bit and I think so I've just got the merry and bright this fun stamp set and I'm just thinking there is a die in here that is a star yes. just thinking I might die cut this star in gold to put up underneath So we've got gold running through 
Yeah, it's gold running through. Okay, sorry, hold that line, <laughs> hold that thought even, because I also have some remnants of, yeah, actually, rather than die cut, I think I might actually use one of these. So, um, these are, sorry, let me put that die away before I lose it. These are from the um, adhesive backed star trinkets, so I think that's what I'll do. So I'm just going to get that where I want it and I'm going to put that over that. Okay, I'm getting there, see, it's part thought, part on the fly. I like to wing it. It doesn't always turn out the best when you wing it, but... And then I'll just oh, dimensional. Might see if I can use the black. Because although it's white cardstock, I don't really want to use. Do you know what? I'm teaching you bad habits. The best thing to do. Here's Bella. Hello, Bella. She takes the camera with her. Honestly, Bells. Little Miss Attention Seeker. Hey, little Miss Attention Seeker. I'm teaching you bad habits. I'm going to stick it, the ribbon down with glue dots. What do you reckon, Bells? Okay. There we go. Hi. And I'll just trim a little bit. So when you're using your dimensionals, don't forget to use your edges. Hi, can I have the card at least, Bella, if nothing else? Hi, Bella. To be fair, it's taken her a while to come up here, but I think that's because I booted her out. She just loves attention. No, I don't, she says. Bella, no one can see anything but your bum. Can we move it, please? We're kind of <laughs> in the middle of something here. Bella, <laughs> move your bum. Thank you very much. Oh, honestly, what is she like? 
So we're going to put that over there and secure it down. Honestly, Bella Bill. Well, I know those of you out there. So her name is Bella. I do call her Bella Boo. I don't know why. I started calling her it one day and she really responded well to it. So now it's her nickname. But I'm sure for those of you that are pet owners, you've all got nicknames for your animals as well. Okay. And then I'm going to add a star. Not straight, it's annoying me. There. And I know it's a bit excessive, but we're going to put one up here as well. That's okay, she's nestled now here in the corner. In fairness, I do normally leave her a space on my desk. But... It's a bit of a tip at the moment, so she's not really got room. So, there's our card. Anyway. Put my hat, there we go. So, you can't, can't really see the background. So, you can see the sentiment, and then when I hold it up, you can see the background and the details. So obviously, it's much better in person. Anyway, I hope you like it and um, so Bella and I want to wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas and we'll see you in the new year. And if you like this card and this visit video, obviously all down to Bella, uh, please give it a, a thumbs up and please press the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner and press the little bell icon for you to get notifications when videos go live. Please do look in the description box for the remainder of the participants in the video hop and please do go around and have a look to see what everybody's been making and get some great inspiration. Until next year, thanks again. Take care. Bye.